Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 10 problems I have completed on queuing theory. Now in this video, two more problems, 11th and 12th problem I'm going to explain you. So before that, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain in detail the 11th and 12th problem. Now, see the problem number 11. The rate of arrival of customers at a counter follows Poisson distribution with an average time of 10 minutes between one customer and the next customer. So every 10 minutes, one customer is arriving. So in one hour, 60 minutes, how many customers will arrive? So first of all, we need the lambda and mu. So lambda for every 10 minutes, one customer arrives. In 60 minutes, how much? So 60 by 10 into 1 is 6 customers. So arrival rate, 6 customers. And the time required for service follows Poisson distribution with a mean time of 3 minutes. So service time, every 3 minutes, one customer is served. So in 3 minutes, one customer in 60 minutes, how much? 60 by 3, it comes to 120. So mu, 20 customers per hour. Now, what is the first question? What is the probability that a customer arriving at the counter will have to wait? The probability that the new customer arriving has to wait. He has to wait only when the server is busy. The new customer arriving has to wait whenever the server is busy. If the provider of the service is busy, then the new customer has to wait. So what is the probability that the server is busy? that is traffic intensity that is the utilization factor rho so rho is equal to lambda by mu the formula for rho is lambda by mu so lambda 6 divided by 20 it comes to 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 is the probability that the server is busy and when the server is busy the new customer has to wait so probability that the new customer has to wait is 0.3 or second one what is the average length of the queue average length of the queue means average number of units in the queue lq so the formula for lq is lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda so lambda square 6 square divided by 20 into 20 minus 6 so it is uh, 6 6 is 36 divided by 20 into 20 minus 6 is 14 so 20 into 14 to 80 so 36 by 20 is 0 0.13 this is the average length of the queue next average length of the system c bit what is the average length of the system average number of units in the system ls the formula for ls is lambda divided by mu minus lambda See, every problem is based on the formula. Until and unless you are perfect on the formula, you cannot be able to solve the problem. So my suggestion, if you want the perfect knowledge, perfect knowledge on this topic of queuing theory, you must watch the theory videos particularly. And always keep a notebook, pen, calculator ready while watching the video. Whatever formulas, whatever expression I'm giving, immediately you should note it down. Then only you can be able to get the maximum benefit from this channel now ls 0.43 d point what is the average waiting time in the system average waiting time of the customer in the whole system that is ws the formula for ws is 1 divided by mu minus lambda 1 divided by mu minus lambda 1 divided by 20 minus 6 1 by 14 so this time is measured in hours so if you want to convert the hours into minutes, multiply by 60. So 1 by 14 into 60, 4.23 minutes. That is the average time a customer spends in the whole system. Next one, what is the average time in the queue? WQ. So WQ formula, lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda. That is 6 divided by 20 into 20 minus 6. So 6 divided by 280, it comes to 0 0.02 R. 
because the time is measured in hours if you want in minutes multiply with 60 0 0.02 into 60 1.2 minutes that's it last bit f what should be the arrival rate what should be the arrival rate such that the second counter will be open if the manager is convinced that the customers are waiting for more than three minutes on an average if three minutes or more if the customer waits then the manager is thinking to open the second counter so what is the new arrival rate lambda new lambda we have to find out so new arrival rate lambda is equal to how much if the second counter is open if the customers are waiting for more than three minutes on an average that is waiting time in the queue wq is three minutes wq is three minutes so if you want wq in r convert the minutes into r so 3 divided by 60 you will get 0 0.05 r so we can call it as 0 0.05 r or we can call it as 3 minutes both are same but wq we should write in hours the formula for wq lambda dash actually lambda only but already lambda we have given here we have used the lambda so again we are not using the same lambda new lambda we have to find out that's why we are giving the name lambda dash divided by mu into mu minus lambda dash lambda dash is unknown that we have to find out wq is 0 0.05 is equal to lambda dash divided by 20 into 20 minus lambda open the bracket with 20 20 into 20 is 400 20 into lambda 1 is 20 lambda 1 lambda dash now cross multiply 0 0.05 0 0.05 into 400 minus 20 is 0 0.05 400 minus 20 lambda is equal to lambda now open the bracket 0 0.05 into 400 you'll get 20 minus 0 0.05 into 20 you'll get 1 so 1 lambda is lambda dash is equal to lambda dash take this lambda dash to RHS so minus will become plus 2 lambda dash 20 is equal to 2 lambda dash lambda dash is equal to 20 by 2 10 so new lambda is 10 that means the new arrival rate is 10 if the new arrival rate is 10 then second counter will be opened by the management that's it next 12th problem the arrival of a machinist at a tool crib are considered to be poisson distributed at an average rate of 6 per hour that means arrival rate is 6 customers per hour right directly given the service time at the tool crib is exponentially distributed with an average of 3 minutes the service time is given in 3 minutes in 3 minutes every 3 minutes one customer is served in 60 minutes how much so 60 by 3 it comes to 20 the 20 customers per hour is the service rate mu now what is the first question what is the probability that a machinist arriving at the tool crib will have to wait machinist means suppose a customer what is the probability that the new customer comes in has to wait when the new customer will wait if the server is busy if the server is busy so what is the probability that the server is busy that is rho already we have done in so many problems so probability that the new machine is arriving at the tool crib will have to wait that means probability that the server is busy rho the formula is lambda by mu so 6 divided by 20 point 3. Point 0.3 is the probability that the server is busy when the server is busy the new machinist has to wait point three. Second b bit what is the average number of machinists at the tool crib average number of machinists means average number of customers at the whole tool crib that means ls so we have to find out ls lambda divided by mu minus lambda 6 divided by 20 minus 6 6 by 14 ls is 0 0.43 last one the company will install a second tool crib if convinced that the machinist would have to wait at least six minutes before being served how much by how much should the arrival of machinist increase to justify the addition of the second tool crib again we have to find out the new arrival rate for starting a second tool crib 
if the machinist have to wait for six minutes that means wq is six minutes so your new arrival rate we have to find out if the second tool crib is needed if the average waiting time should be at least six minutes that is wq is equal to six minutes so we don't want in minutes we want in hours the so six divided by 60 is one divided by 10 point one so we can say wq is point one the formula for wq mu uh, sorry uh, lambda lambda dash divided by mu into mu minus lambda we are putting a new name lambda dash to find out the new lambda so wq is 0 0.10 is equal to lambda dash divided by 20 into 20 minus lambda now open the bracket 20 into 90 400 20 into lambda dash 20 lambda dash cross multiply 0 0.10 into 400 minus 20 lambda dash is equal to lambda dash now open the bracket 0 0.10 into 400 40 minus 0 0.10 into 20 2 is equal to lambda dash take this minus 2 to rhs it will become plus 2 so 40 is equal to lambda dash plus 2 lambda dash 2 plus 1 3 lambda dash so lambda dash is equal to 40 by 3, 13.33. So the new arrival rate is 13.33. That's all. So in this video, I have explained you two problems. That is 11th and uh, 12th. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video. So if you're satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comments and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Inshallah, we'll continue in the next video.